everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I put a request out recently to sort of find out what kind of videos you would like to see from me. One of the ones that came up quite a lot, actually probably one of the most, was books and I am a big, big reader. I always have been since I was very, very small. And it's something that I have to say that since I've become a mum, particularly a mum of two, I feel like I struggle to get that time for myself to read anymore. I have been actively trying to read again. So I have been reading on the sidelines since I made that first video ages ago about books, which I can leave linked down below if you want to check that out by all means. But I really wanted to talk about a book today, which I think is going to be really Really popular or it is starting to get very popular at the moment and it is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. Now if you're a bookworm you might recognise Paula's name because she was the author of The Girl on the Train. You can see a little sticker here and I read The Girl on the Train way way before it kind of got mainstream and I absolutely loved it and I saw this recently and I was like right you are coming home with me because don't you just love it when you find an author who's very gripping I'm massively into crime um fiction in that way I, I just I've always loved it it was, it was actually my gramps that got me interested into that genre and he introduced me to David Baldacci which I absolutely adore he's a brilliant author so if you into that kind of you know theme of things then I would definitely you know give him an Amazon and check his books out because he's great but we're not going to talk about David today we're going to talk about Paula and this bad boy now Into the Water is another thriller along those lines it's like you know around sort of death and um, murder it's one of those that has you very very gripped and I read this like you know where you feel like you've just gone and through the pages like I can't do it because the hardback but you know what I mean when it goes like and then you've just read it, it's gone, and then you sit there and you're like, oh, oh, I feel like I wasted that now, but it was just one of those. And I'm gonna go through it without telling you what happens because this is more like, hey, this is a book I really like, I think you should check it out. I'm gonna read the blurb, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I found reading it and stuff, but I'm not gonna give too much away because I just, I don't like videos like that where I'm like, mm, right, well, might as well not read the book now. So, let's begin. <laughs> Julia, it's me. I need you to call me back. Please, Julia, it's important. In the last days before her death, Nell Abbott called her sister. Jules didn't pick up the phone, ignoring her plea for help. Now Nell is dead. They say she jumped and Jules has been dragged back to the one place she hoped she had escaped for good, to care for the teenage girl her sister left behind. But Jules is afraid, so afraid, of her long buried memories of the old mill house, of knowing that Nell would never have jumped. And most of all, she's afraid of the water and the place they call the drowning pool. Ah, uh, I mean, when I read the blurb, and this is actually a book that kind of like I bought in store when I was doing a food shop, I read the blurb and I was hooked, mainly because if any of you followed me for a while, I wanted to call Daisy Nell, and Daisy is Daisy Nell Taylor. She was going to be like Nell something or other Taylor, but Mark one. Um, so I saw that and I loved that name, and then like Jules reminded me of a lovely YouTuber on here. So when I was reading it, I kind of imagined Jules, even though there were other descriptions. Jules, if you're watching this, I was thinking of you while I read this book, which is a bit creepy, but anyway. Um, and it's just gripping. I, I really, really liked the way it followed different characters. There were like certain scenes that were set and you would get it from different people's perspectives. So Jules is the main character for all intents and purposes, but you do get other insights from other characters as you're reading the book. And it is one of those whodunit things where you start to question whether or not it is a suicide um, or it is a murder or an accident or whatever reason and what's very gripping about it is that it has some sort of historical mythical theme to it but without it being too much like oh is this the Blair Witch Project or oh I'm out reading a book that's based on Charmed but it does touch on things like superstitions from the past and lightly touches on witchcraft which is not the general theme of the book by any means so don't let that put you off you hear a bit meh about those sort of themes because I'm like that as well but it was just really really gripping and I just I think I read it in about over a couple of days, bearing in mind that I didn't read for that entire duration because I've got two children and like I've got to get stuff done, do you know what I mean? But it was just one of those where I'm like, yeah, sorry Mark. <laughs> At night time I was just sat there and he was watching football and I was sat there like 
like this. Oh yeah, good match, babe. That is, that is pretty much how my life was spent. And it's just as good as the girl on the train. I would say that there's an interesting element for me as a mother because the um, main person that died in this was a mother and there were a lot of teenage relationships in there which is quite interesting and it touches on teenagers a lot and their vulnerability and in that way I quite enjoyed reading this having just watched um, 13 Reasons Why which is a brilliant series on Netflix which does um, centre around teenage suicide. It romanticises it a little bit, that series, but it's very, very good at raising awareness of that topic and reminding me as an adult the kind of stuff that you would go through as a teenager. Um, and I really liked that edge of it. Um, as for like whether I prefer the girl on the train or into the water, I would have to say that they're kind of on par for me, which is quite nice. I think the girl on the train is kind of losing its appeal because A, I've already read it. B, it was turned into a massive movie and then C, that massive movie completely took away from the book because they said it in a different place and it wasn't quite the same for me when I was watching it. And I'm sure a lot of like fans of that book will agree. Um, but this, I'd be very interested to see if this is made into a film as well because I for one would definitely watch it. But it's so worth giving it a go like I I love this and it's one of those where I'm like hanging on to because I might lend it to like a family member which is what I tend to do um but sometimes like I do hang on to favorite books again because I do read them like twice three times over the course of my life that's what I'm like so what I'm going to do in this video now is talk about the next book that I'm going to read and just show you which one it is and then you know if you want to read that along with me I will do a video at the start of July recapping on how I found that book and whether I thought it was very good but it is this and it's Lucy Diamond the house of new beginning and it's it's a bit chiclet and I'm all about that sometimes I just I'm in the mood at the moment where I would like a little bit of light escapism like nothing too serious something gentle to read when the sun is shining and I can still kind of follow the plot and still keep an eye on the kids of the plane in the garden that kind of book because I find like this sort of book I need everyone to shut up and leave me alone so I can read it and um, so now I thought with the summertime in mind this is a relatively new release and I just thought yeah I'm gonna go with this one and then you can read it along with me it's a great one if you like thinking of going on holiday because it's quite a quite a big one and it basically follows um the stories of three girls that live in a house which has been turned into a series of flats so there's flat one which is rosa flat three which is georgie and flat four which is charlotte and all three tenants find each other hope surfaces friendship blossom and a whole new chapter unfolds for them all that is the one i'm going to read next um i'm sure you'll be able to get it like most places and then i will let you know what I think when I've read it but yeah um I hope this was the kind of video that you were after those those bookworms out there just like me um and yeah let me know if there are any book suggestions you've got for me because I would love some more and let me know if you're gonna join in or you know what you're reading at the moment because it's just nice to have a little chit chat in tip but I'm gonna go now and I'll see you later. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video um, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new because um, there's more to me than just motherhood and hopefully you'll enjoy what you see. But yeah, have a lovely day whatever you're up to and I'll see you next time.